So I'm going to do a basic little rundown and show you guys what I'm going to be working with this summer. This isn't all that I'm going to have, but I'm definitely going to get more products and stuff. But this is just what I'm going to start with. This is my challenge box right here. These are my basic supplies like spinners and weights and hooks. Then I've got some new stuff here. And this is the kind of bait that I use. This right here isn't my preferred kind of salmon row. This stuff's very dry. It's been salted. I prefer it more liquidy. The fish seem to go after it more. And I use this because I have a really hard time finding genuine red power bait. But this power bait right here specifically is about as red as I've been able to find. And then you got your generic worms and then pike minnow bait, white bread. Pike minnow love white bread. They always take it around here in uh, Eugene, Oregon. <laughs> then over here, I just got these recently for some bass. I haven't used dark blue, dark purple in years. So I'm going to see if uh, they're working. I got a couple of these for lingcod, rock bass, stuff like that. And then tons of spinners, crankbaits, stuff like that for largemouth bass and for a uh, salmon steelhead, that sort of thing. Got some catfish hooks. Lots and lots and lots of catfish hooks. Little bass bass pond crankbaits, stuff like that. But this is the challenge box. I have yet to catch a fish on any of these here lures, and I plan to do that this summer. Um I would really like to get over to, I can't, it's near Diamond Lake, above Crater Lake, but I want to use this and try and get some lake trout and some brown trout that would be some of the biggest trout I've ever caught in my life. I've never caught a fish on this, even though I've used it numerous times. I want to get a bass on this this year. Just a generic little popper. Then I got a flat fish for salmon, steelhead, but I've caught bass on these before. Largemouth bass seem, or not largemouth, smallmouth bass seem to love these on the Columbia River in eastern Washington. So I'm going to use that underneath the docks when I go fish for bass this summer. Then I've got this tiger pattern. Uh, I think it's like a Rapala's or Pro Bass or some shit. I'm not certain, but. I have yet to catch a fish on that also, it should work. And then these would be perfect for walleye, bass, lingcod, whatever. Steelhead and trout for this one. But yeah, this is just the basic setup. And then I got an assortment of jigs and stuff. This is actually the same color type of uh, Fat Albert grub that I used when I caught the bass in the first video that I posted on the page. Yep. They work really, really well for largemouth bass. They love them. Not sure why. Maybe I guess it looks like a shiner or some shit. Um, this will be the rod and reel that I'll be using throughout the summer. It's a really nice trout pole, steelhead pole, whatever you can hook into. Catfish, doesn't matter. Akumu. Celio? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a Celio. It's a 9.6. With a Shakespeare reel. Nothing too special, but whatever pulls in the fish, you know? This summer's going to be fun. Lots of fish to catch.